this is maybe the hardest part of the game. Uh, definitely the, hard the hardest part of the game so far. It's a famous back to back to back. Um, which means I have to fight three Aqua Grunt trainers back to back without being able to change my team. And um, I've been planning this for a month. <laughs> Technically, um, I mean, not for a month, but on and off. So, yeah, let's go. Um, I might wipe this here, but um, I'm definitely in PB territory. Lucky, it doesn't matter. I don't know which way I need to go here. Clearly, it's this way. Fuck! <laughs> okay, well... As we were saying... Somewhere... I'm gonna have to fight some trainers. Okay, this is pointless because I have Mystic Water. I think... Dude, where are the trainers? There you go. Okay. okay, so the first one is dicey. But the strat is very simple. So... I'm leading Houndoom. And then I'm gonna two-hit KO this guy. The point is... I can't one-shot. And he can boom. But I only die to crit. Crit, boom. And he could flinch with bite. And he could hypnosis. So actually, my chances of dying here is like 1 in 200. But if Houndoom dies, runs over. So... Just flinch, or crit. Alright, flinch. Get destroyed. Okay. So this was the first dicey spot. Now Cloister should come in. Good. And the idea... Is it just go septile and destroy it? He could. He, this is guaranteed to surf because it's his kill. Um, if he crits, I have citrus, so I heal just out of ice short range. And now he's guaranteed to go for ice beam, but I'm faster, so it's a skill with leaf blade. Because septile is a god. Now Clamper comes out, and I just kill it. And this is the easy part of the fight. This always dies. Okay. Now Ludi comes in because he sees Fire Punch. No, it's his Ice Beam. Um, ice Beam, I think it's, it's actually just a roll to kill, but I don't want to risk crits, and I can't do that much to him back anyway. So, the idea... And this is the first dicey part. I go Metagross. This is gonna do nothing to me. And um, I just need to 1v1 this, basically. Um, this has Fire Punch, but in the rain it doesn't actually do that much, to the point that it's actually 50-50 to Thunder Punch. I'm gonna go Light Screen. It's gonna do like 25%. I'm gonna go Light Screen. And basically... The idea is that he can't do that much to me. 
I could get kind of screwed by status, which of course gets first turn. I think I'm fine. I have Citrus. Spadef drop is really good. Did I give it Citrus? I did. Okay, I guess it activates the turn after. Okay. I should still win. Because uh, Citrus is gonna activate next turn. And this can kill, maybe? No? Okay. This is fine. Actually... Okay, no, you, this is fine. Yeah. Let me think if there's some better strat here. Wait, could I go Kingra here? Let me actually check. Because... So... The strat here is, um, I was gonna kill this, and then Nidoqueen was gonna come out, and I was gonna go Kingdra and basically dodge a crit. But, if I could go Kingdra now, that'd be a lot better. No, oh, but Kingdra bait select, so that's not great. I could go Quagsire. No, that doesn't make any sense. I could go Houndoom. Also doesn't make sense. Yeah, I think I stick to the strat. Nidoqueen is gonna be a random move, but that might actually be good for me. Damn, good thing I went light screen. <laughs> there was a last minute uh, strat addition. This random move, I think, yeah, it should be a random move. Maybe not Blizzard, but um, Earthquake is the move that does the most damage anyway, so we should be fine. And I'm pre slept so status doesn't, but yeah. If he doesn't crit, it's actually great. Of course he crits, okay. Doesn't really matter. Um, this was the strat anyway. In fact, okay, Thunder is good anyway. So I just died to Bright Powder Miss into Earthquake Crit. So um, this is one of the dice points. So Kingra, just hit. Just do it. Nice. Okay. And this Okos. Last one is Electabuzz. This is pretty easy. If I counted it correctly, Quagsar should just win straight up. Because um, he's guaranteed to Thunder now. And so I get the switch for free. Oh, that's high crit AI. I forgot about that. For anyone who doesn't know, that's just. Um, AI can crit, like can can go for high crit moves even if they're not highest damage. Um, I'm just gonna calc something real quick. Um, I don't remember if I'm if I meant to earthquake here. Oh, earthquake just kills. Okay. Get destroyed. Wasn't gonna kill anywhere, even with crit. Okay, and that's the first trainer down. Honestly, this is probably the easiest one. So, um, you know, but uh, there were a couple of failing points here, so this is good. Okay, so. Okay, I need to heal first and foremost. Oh, I don't have, um... Okay, well, this is gonna be boring. I should have bought full restores, but... Whatever. Uh, 
I should have. <laughs> yeah. Well. Whatever. The best thing Run and Bun does is put the pointer on use instead of check tag for buried. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> the best quality of life improvement of all time. I don't have any pre damage here, so. You can just heal for free. So next fight, while well, I heal, the strat is kind of weird and very dependent on my understanding of the AI, basically. Um, basically, I'm gonna trick... So they're gonna lead with the Umbreon. And I'm basically gonna trick the Umbreon into using Baton Pass and... I'm gonna snipe the switch, basically. So, if that doesn't happen, I might be in trouble. But, um, in theory, it should. PP doesn't really matter here, but I'm just gonna heal it anyway. Alright, so we need soft sand on Meta Cross. Because we need to kill Tent on the switch. Um, so lead this. Sep needs Citrus. No, um, Chesto. I guess Lam is probably better. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but um, it's, it's more versatile. Um, I would love to go Cherry on Meta, but obviously I can't. Quag. Hmm. I'm basically using only three mods for this, so... I think I just go Citrus on most of the others. When can this ever be useful? This could be useful for the Gyarados. Citrus is fine. This is probably never gonna come in. Does this kill for the Clefable? Yeah, I'm basically just optimizing the items here. This doesn't do 50% to clap. So um, it's probably chest though. Just in case I get to come in on a sin. Or a lamb, I guess. Can this ever get status? Um I don't think so. Did I give it chest though? Yeah, citrus. Okay, citrus is fine. This was said was lamb. And this is probably. This probably does 50 to Clefable. Because rain is crazy. Yeah, this does 50, so this is lamb. Okay. Okay, let's go. Basically, Metagross has to kill everyone here. I just realized I messed up. But I don't have any other ways to play around it now, so good luck. I messed up because Metagross might get paralyzed on the Gyarados. But I need Metagross to be fast later. Um, okay, well... <laughs> too late now okay so this is gonna mean look on this turn almost definitely so i'm just gonna waste a turn actually okay i'm gonna ep yeah okay i'm gonna
don't know if it's just in case it's just randomly but don't pass it. And I guess I trip on Rim, which is good. The fence drop is actually kind of cringe here. <laughs> right. And this is faster, so it should never heal. Yeah, it should baton first. Okay, this was planned, and now I snipe the tentacle. Um, AI is really weird with healing moves, and basically decides to never use them if the user is faster, which is really weird. Um, or something like that. But either way, I think Batompas was guaranteed there, and that was the plan. So Quagsire comes in, this is either Yawn or EQ. I'm just gonna send Sceptile and kill it. Okay. Yawn was pr preferable there, but, but um, EQ is fine. Doesn't really matter. Lefties uh, with a skill. And now Gorobis comes in. And we just kill that too. Because Septo is insane. I guess I messed up the calcs, in which case the run is over. Nice. I guess he could have missed Blizzard. But okay. So the Gyarados is the trickiest part by far. Um, of this fight at least. The next fight is the toughest one. Um, this is always gonna bounce. I'm gonna go... I'm wondering if it's worth going hound on once for intimidate, but probably not, because mostly what's scary here is para. So I'm gonna go Metagross while he goes up from the bounce. Yeah. Now he's faster, he's gonna come down, hit me, and I'm gonna just psychic. Miss is insane here. If I can get through this without getting Metagross paralyzed, this is insane. So this is always a Hydro Pump. Hopefully. <laughs> Wait, let me double check this. It should be a Hydro Pump. Every time. I calc this, but uh, it also has EQ, which is super effective. Yeah. He bounced again. That makes no sense. Why would he bounce again? Is this... There's no way this is... Uh... Oh, okay. Hold on. Oh, if the user is faster, there's a... Oh, interesting. Okay. Okay, I didn't know this. So apparently if the user is faster, there's always a chance that AI can choose to bounce. Okay, well, this is tier time then. This is kind of bad. Not gonna lie. Did I give this citrus? I gave this citrus, didn't I? Yeah. Okay, does bounce, crit, kill Quagsire. Probably does, huh? It doesn't actually. Okay. Do I need Quagsire to not be paralyzed here? I don't. I think I just take the bounce and icy win, so then he's slower and I can do the strat. Yeah, I can get screwed by para here. <laughs> okay, this character is just stupid. He should be slower now. 
the metaverse. Yeah, easily. Okay, so we're back on track. Now he's gonna bounce again. Because it's highest damage move. Yes. Wait, okay, I think you got the one roll where you didn't bounce. That's unfortunate. It doesn't really matter. I just basically took pointless damage from Metaverse. Um, but now it should be guaranteed to hide this one. Okay. Good. <sighs> okay, back to Metagross and hopefully he actually decides to bounce now. That's really bad. This also makes no sense. I'm looking at the AI dog now. I don't see... Let me run the cults again. Okay, I don't see any reason for it to earthquake here. This is really bad. Okay, we, I need to hardcore steer here. This is all, always Hydro Pump. That's guaranteed. Because this is the kill. Is Kingra double edge a kill? Not even close. Oh, I was calculating with intimidation. Okay. okay. I don't kill, but I can go Kingra, tank the Hydro Pump, tank a second move. And I'm faster, so I just two shot every time. Who comes in after? Because if it's Clef, it's really bad. If it's Umbreon, it's really good. Okay. I need to check. This is too important. Uh, so. Kingra out, Clef comes out. Does Clef kill me? I don't know how much does Clef do? Clef does a lot. I might need to dodge a crit with Kingra. The issue here is Clef. Clefable has a um, belly drum. And so I can't switch when it comes out. I need to have someone that kills it, or at least does 50% out. And Kingra would work. But the problem is... He could frustration crit kill me. And Gyarados has focus band anyway. Can I go Pharah here? If Pharah works, this would be great. Pharah level 66. Pharah can kill, I think. How much damage does this give him? Oh, he's more than 50. Pharah doesn't kill. Comes ultra close, though. But then he should always bounce or double edge. And then I should outspeed and be able to superpower the clef. What's the calf looking like? I don't kill, but I should be have enough HP to just be able to superpower. That's so dicey. I think I just go Kingra. Wait, no, I'm stupid. 
I'm super stupid. Okay, I go Kingdra, Clef comes out, I switch, I go Pharah, and I just kill it. Okay. So the diciest part now is Gyarados Focus Band. Hydro Pump. No crit would be good here. Right? Now I should tank any crit. Does Surf does more than... Does Surf do more than... Uh, Surf does do more. Is it important though? I could just Dragon Breath. No, Surf is important here. I think the extra chip is good. Crit would be really good here. Okay. He does bounce, okay. I don't understand this AI. Like, at all. Well, I just go back to Metagross here. Every time, right? Oh, no, okay, I think I solved it. So, I go back to Metagross. He hits the bounce. Pyra is completely fine. This does nothing. Okay, no Pyra is great. This is Hydro Pump or Earthquake. Either way, Pharah tanks it perfectly. I think this actually does less damage, maybe. <laughs> this is funny. Okay. And now it's just AP to kill. He can... He can focus band. Nice threat. AP boost, I think, is actually huge here. Possibly. I'm not sure on this. Depending who comes out. If it's Clef, then I just win. Okay. Do I one-shot with... Oh, wait, wait, wait. He's damaged. I knew that ship would come in handy. <laughs> um, I need to cut this, though. So, Para... Level 66. Plus one. Plus one. I'm faster. Superpower always kills. My only question is... Do I take too much recoil? I could just surf. He's slower, so he's gonna heal, actually. He might. Healing is not great. I think I just killed this. Yeah, I just take the kill. I have citrus anyway, this is fine. Okay, we should have it. Okay. I mean, there's no way this does enough recoil to kill, kill me, right? I just superpower and kill. I'm definitely faster. I definitely kill. I definitely don't take enough recoil. Yeah, I think this is just it. No focus band, no bright powder. Nice, okay. Whew. That was a steer. <laughs> So, this is the hardest trainer now, um, Grunt 7. Well, first of all, I need to heal. Um, I kind of had to waste the pre-sleep on Para, but I planned without pre-sleep, so... Shouldn't bad matter too much. In fact, it actually doesn't matter at all. Completely, because I sent Fera on Armaldo and I just killed it in one shot. So, and Armaldo can't uh, doesn't have any status moves. Okay, 
So a third trainer is the first one I planned. And it's by far the hardest. Um, this could go very wrong. Because the plan is really involved and it's very possible I messed up some more. Um, basically, Houndoom is gonna pop off if everything goes well. Okay. Um, I also haven't thought about items here. Uh, so what does meta do here? Meta only leads and doesn't do that much else. So I just give it citrus. Um, Terra is a normaldo duty. Citrus is completely fine. Houndu has to do a bunch of things, so this is the important one. I never tank anything on the Gengar. I have to kill the slow bro who is gonna T wave, so this is always this is always cherry. I would go lamb, but I'm afraid I might get hit by a signal beam at some point. So it's probably a bad idea. If I get paralyzed, it's really, really, really bad. This needs to kill the Oma Star and stall. I think I go Lum. To play around Blizzard Breeze. Seftel actually doesn't do anything here. I guess it's a contingency plan for the Omar Star. In which case, item doesn't really matter here. I could use it for slow, bro. In which case, Cherry is the best. I'll just go Lamb, I think. This is generally good. And then Kingdra is a almost our check. And I just go lump to play around trees. Wait, 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 I might need Miracle Seed on this. God, this strat is so scuffed. There's a PP stall. Uh, oh, no, 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 I always go Miracle Seed here. So you're giving a better roll to kill the Allmaster in one hit. Okay. Alright, this is definitely it. Um, let's go. This is scary. This fight is terrifying. I also need to check how many PP... How much PP... Psychic has. If I can check on the um, on the meta. Okay, so Glalie with just one v one, straight up. Psychic. Oh, I didn't PP. I didn't restore PP. I hope it doesn't matter. Oof. Okay. Well, too late now. Um, it's like he has 60 PP. Okay. So we just 1v1 the Glalie. This doesn't have boom. Uh, so, I mean, boom would do less than earthquake anyway. Unfortunately, we don't one shot. Um, ooh, is it possible we could switch here? Ooh, we could really switch here, actually. I didn't think about that. I never thought about that. Who would he switch to? He would switch to Polyrad, I think. I think I just tried to snipe it. Okay, nice. Basically, AI can switch 
if uh, actually it couldn't have switched here. AI can only switch if they have a mon that resists the move you did and has a super effective move on you. So he did have a mon that resisted Meteor Mash. In fact, he had two, but no super effective moves, so he couldn't have switched her. Oh yeah, this is always Earthquake. And I go... Terra. Oh my god. That is scary. This doesn't kill me. But it could quick claw AP and get the boost. This doesn't kill me, right? <laughs> I mean, I, I don't have any way to play around it, but I'm gonna check anyway. I don't think there's one shots. A plus two. Yeah, okay. So it would need Quick Claw, and I always kill with Surf. He would need Quick Claw AP boost to really screw me over, and even then, I think I still win the 1v1. This just kills, so the lowest roll is exactly 100%. Okay. It's all according to plan so far. In fact, it's even better because uh, I have full health on Pharah. Where I thought I would take the, an earthquake. This is always Thunder. I go Quag. There's a Shadow Ball and Psychic, but Psychic is... The lowest roll of Psychic is slightly more than the highest roll of Shadow Ball. So I go Houndu on the Psychic. And basically I just loop, I just keep switching back and forth until it doesn't Destiny Bond. Okay, this is great. So I, now it's just uh, outspeed on one shot. Because Houndu is crazy. This sees the kill with Surf and nothing else. So I go Quagsire. God, Absorb abilities are so good in uh, in Hard Nas looks. And now we need to stall him out of Psychics, basically. Um, yeah, so Psychic has 16 PP. I'm gonna actually fight them down. This is gonna be one. Why would you signal beam? And crit. And confuse. That's. Confuse doesn't matter. Why? <laughs> what? Oh, it's good. It's random move. Oh, that's so bad. <laughs> this is awful. Okay. I need to steer. Um, okay, so it's uh, it's random move. <sighs> because it sees the highest damage you move on Quagsire to be Surf. But it can't use Surf because I'm Water Absorb. But that doesn't replace the highest damage move with Psychic, it just sees the other moves as not highest damage, and so it chooses random move every time. That's kind of bad, well I have to switch here. Um, the PP stall is definitely not happening. There's always Surf, that's for sure. I need to preserve, preserve some HP on Quagsire. What do I do? Can I hit it with Sceptile? If I kill this with Sceptile, it's insanely bad. Hmm. 
So. Hmm. Okay, let me let me call how Septel does here. Also, him critting is really really bad. Septel does okay. If I dodge every crit, basically. I think I'd ship it down with Terra. Terra or Kingra. Did I give Lump to this? Okay, Miracle Seed, of course. I mean, I can go Quag, tank one move. Yeah, I can kind of chip this down with Quag a bit. But the thing is, I do nothing to it, and he has leftovers, so I can't be too slow about it. My idea was to chip with Quag, go back to Hound him once, and then go back on the Surf to heal the Quag. But I can only do that once, and it's gonna take forever to do anyway. And that's a problem. Because it's gonna heal all the damage with leftovers anyway. What do I do? I could go Fera and just do a bunch of damage. How much does it do to Fera? doesn't do that much, but I can't, like, stay in and do whatever I want. And I don't do that much. This is bad. I think I might have to risk double crit on Sep. Wait, 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 no, 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 no. He's, he's almost always gonna tear wave the Sep, though. Actually, it might put me in overgrowth. Yeah, I think I go sub. This is dicey. Let's see what he does. I think I'm fine. No crit is great. So this should T wave like seven out of eight times. And I only die to psychic crit. And Leaf Blade has one roll to kill, technically, so... Just kill. Okay. T-Wave, great. Okay. <sighs> We're still in. Now this is gonna T-Wave again, probably. Or Psychic. Actually, okay, if I give Lum to Houndoom... I'm exactly back on the plan, basically. I gave it Cherry. Cherry is great. Cherry is completely fine. I just go Houndoom. This can never surf. Let me check for overlapping rolls, but yeah. In theory, this could signal beam. But like, if I get sig signal beam crit twice, no T wave, no psychic, that's just really unlucky and like. I just got a better player at that point. Just Psychic. Or T-Wave. Nice. Okay. It was really... Like, it was... It was by far the most common outcome. Okay. So now just kill it. And we're back on track.
I gotta say, sweeping a uh, rain trainer with Handum feels really, really good. Handum is cr crazy. Okay. So this poly, we're gonna completely cheese. Because his only damaging moves are Focus Punch and Ice Beam. He doesn't see a kill with Ice Beam, but it does see a kill with Focus Punch. And so he's gonna spam Focus Punch. And so I'm just gonna spam Crunch until he dies. Which Houndoom is insane, so it isn't gonna take that long. I have no idea why they would uh, they didn't give this a water move, but um, we take those, as they say. His other moves, by the way, are Hypnosis and uh, Substitute. I mean, if this wasn't completely cheesable, this would be really scary. Because <laughs> uh, this is also Swift Swim, so... <laughs> You could very easily get seized, like get uh, slapped by hypnosis, and then he sets up substitute and starts spamming super fast focus pa focus punches, and his plus attack. But um, yeah, you can seize him. So there we go. Now I have to kill him. Is the unfortunate part. Because no one really enjoys taking a focus pan, focus punch, which means Soma Star is kind of dicey here because I think it can AP. I'm gonna double check. I'm pretty sure though. Yeah, it can AP or Hydro Pump, and it's 50/50. If he gets the boost, it's really, really, really bad. So hopefully we see Hydro Pump here. I go Quagsire anyway. I mean AP is fine as long as it doesn't boost. Okay, Hydro Pump is completely fine. Now this is doubly good because this is random move, so it's not gonna just start spamming Blazer. I could mod shot. Does this make anyone outspeed him though? 124. Pharah maybe? He makes Pharah outspeed actually. This is actually really good. I'm just gonna mod shot here. Okay, Blizzard. Blizzard is fine. Like it's uh, his highest damage to move. By the way, that was literally the highest roll. <laughs> if you get that roll and crits, I die, but come on. Who gets hit by that? Um, this can never surf. I think I go Metagross. I don't die to, like, two blizzards, right? No way, right? <laughs> Copium. 43. I do die to two blizzards, highest possible roll, but like, who gets hit by that? I go Metagross to. to bait Hydro Pump. AP, no boost, please. Great, okay. I, th I think we should have it. This is always Hydro Pump. Wait. Does it remember about Water Absorb? Wait, 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 I need to check this. This is actually really important. Um, it shouldn't, right? I 
I'm looking at the AI document right now. I need to... Okay. Okay, it forgets any information whenever you switch out. So, yeah, I was thinking of the uh, Gen 5 AI thing. I still like to blizzard crit. That's kind of unfortunate, actually. Do I do this again? Let's just go. That, I feel like Farah just wins here. Did I give it citrus? I gave it citrus. I mean. This seems free. Yeah, As, I mean, if I get frozen, it's not free. No freeze? Yeah, I feel like it's a skill with AP here. How much does it do with... Uh, with... Uh, hydro Pump. Hydro Pump. Does max 94. Yeah, I think I take the repo. No quick flow? This can kill. I, th I don't think it's guaranteed. But it definitely can. Just kill. Okay. He's gonna HP. Not gonna kill. What move is this? I wish I could just attack here. <laughs> But um, unfortunately, he is. He has. Um, he has quick claw. But this is always hydro pump. I think. I think I just go Kingdra. I could go Quagsire. Quagsire gonna get heal to full. And then I. I die to crit. Crit high roll. I think I might go Kingdra here. Yeah, he does little to nothing to Kingdra. I think it's just go Kingdra and win. I feel like if I get double crit into Quick Claw, maybe I lose, but I think I'm good now. Quick Claw Blizzard Freeze, I guess, is the lose con. Okay, this is This section was so scary. I spent so much time planning this. <laughs> I'm glad it went well. I got kind of lucky, but honestly, not that lucky. Um, honestly, I think my encounters were just really good. I was thinking if I should get Ludi for this, but uh, I guess it was just um, unnecessary. God, Houndoom is so good. How are you gonna get carried in a rain section by Houndoom of all things? Okay, well, time to plan like 20 more grunts because I have Magma Hideout after this, so. Yeah.